Hey guys! Uh, I wanted to do a quick video today, um, kind of explaining and talking about some things like I've been doing. Um, I have like a list of things that I've been thinking about talking about. Some of them are not so easy to talk about, and some of them are. Uh, some of them are just kind of like meh. So like today's a meh one. It's um, I was homeless for a while, and I kind of wanted to talk with you about that part of my past, uh, give you a little bit of info, um, perhaps some insight, cat. Um, if you have questions, like that's completely fine to talk about that kind of stuff in the comments. I'll answer pretty much anything that I can. Um, it was uh, back when I lived in Arizona. I moved from California to Arizona. I was supposed to roommate cat. I was supposed to roommate with somebody. I had it all set up. Um, it was in an effort to get closer to and eventually marry the man that I am divorcing <laughs> now. Um, it, it wasn't necessarily through any fault of his own at first. I was told by the person I was supposed to roommate with that the ghost in their new apartment didn't like me. Which I do believe in certain spirituality things. I'm sure we'll get into that in one of a video, but this was the most retarded thing I had ever heard in my life. And I was furious. I had to throw away, I, I had to throw away a um, 1950s vintage aluminum Christmas tree that I absolutely adored. I had to throw away all of my childhood Christmas ornaments because every year we would get, as a child, we would be able to pick out an ornament and do something fun with that. I had to throw away because I just didn't have space once they decided that it wasn't going to stay. All I had was my car at the time. Um, I stayed in some of those shady, like, daily fee motels that are not really meant for living in. Um, I stayed in my car in the park a lot. Uh, the police at the time in that area were pretty kind about it. I think they kind of knew what was going on. Um, I didn't make any trouble for anyone. Like, I didn't go begging where I wasn't supposed to or anything like that. I did get a job fairly quickly, but I mean, it's always like that weird couple of weeks before you see any money. And um, the uh, manager, who I'm still very good friends with on Facebook, he was an absolute sweetheart. Um, I don't want him to get in any trouble for this, so I'm not going to, like, say who it is. Uh, but at working fast food, you're not supposed to graze, which is eat the food that you're preparing because it's, it's like a whole big thing. And I'm sure like it's a big deal at some places. I obey that rule. I don't do it, but he would be like, Hey, here's a bag. I mismade this sandwich. Go throw it away. And I go over to the trash can and he'd be like, no, throw it away in your car. Like he was an absolute sweetheart trying to make sure that I did eat and I wasn't completely devoid of things. I mean, it was a rough couple of weeks, but that was just the before I got the paycheck. It was it was a decent amount of time before I got the job, but things things did work out um, for me fairly quickly in the grand scheme of things. It wasn't it was definitely less than a year, so it wasn't like that big of a deal. But I did want to discuss it a little bit with people and let people know. I have been through that and I'm open to talk with if you need advice. Um, now I know a lot more about what sort of like community things there are out there that can help you if you can't. So like, you know, you can shower at local Y's, you can, if you are not as, if you're not like offended by religion, you can usually go to like churches and be like, do you have a potluck? Is there some way that I can get some help? Um, usually people are really nice about that. You can go to the different thrift stores and be like, hey, because there's, there's one here locally that does something like that where they'll, if you're getting ready to look for a job, you um, can ask them and they'll give you like coupons so you can like pick stuff that you would wear for your job interviews and wear at your work. It's really nice. So like I know more about that and how to look stuff up because when I was, um, obviously when I was homeless, I didn't have a smartphone and I didn't really have internet access, but you can always go to like a local library and they have internet for free. Um, if you know someone who goes to college, chances are they will take you to their library and you can use their uh, stuff as well. There's, there's always ways to get out there and figure out what it is that you need to do to not only help yourself but help others. Um, if you have questions, like I said, in the comments, I'm totally willing to open this up for that. Um, I don't really want to answer like questions about the ex-husband because I feel like that's a little unfair, but we'll, we'll see. Um, feel free to discuss 